Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a chart with data in an Excel worksheet. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have an Excel worksheet and it covers company net profit by office. I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what we're looking at. Along row 2, you'll see the office and the year. All right, so each year, 2015 through 2018, and then a total at the end. Next, you're going to see in column A, the list of offices that I am uh, currently reviewing, which is New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Philadelphia, and San Francisco. All right, so the first step of creating any chart is to choose the data that you're interested in. Well, I know for creating a chart, in this case, I'm interested in all four of the years, so I need to make sure that those are selected. Also, I'm interested in the data regarding those years, and those are all selected. Next, office over here, each office needs to be selected. So now I need to find a way to select all of them at once. Well, the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to highlight from one area, in this case the office. I'm going to make sure to include all of the years. And then I'm going to go down through all of the totals as well as uh, the offices on the left side. You'll see that this selection here includes all of the rows that include the years, the data, and the offices on the left. However, it does not include the totals over here. The reason that I chose not to include the totals is because if I create a chart, let's say a column or a bar chart in this case, and I include these, remember, this 2 million over here is the combination of all of the New York offices' uh, net profits. So that means that it'll be uh, four times larger than these numbers, or the combination of these numbers, right? So I do not include the totals. So choosing your selection is the most important and the first step of creating a chart. The next step of creating a chart is to go to the Insert tab. From the Insert tab, you're going to go to the Charts group. In the Charts group, you'll see along the left side is a Recommended Charts button. The middle all contains the different types of charts available in Excel, and on the right side is a Pivot Chart. For the purposes of this video, we're going to stick with recommended charts over here, and this is good because Excel will actually recommend a good chart to showcase the data depending on what you have selected. So again, you have to make your select, uh, selection first, and then go to recommended charts. And once you select the data in the worksheet, you click this button and you'll get a customized set of charts that uh, Excel thinks will best fit your data. I click on that, and then I see over here, recommended charts. The recommended charts thumbnail area on the left side will show you a preview or a thumbnail of what the chart will look like. And then on the right side, it'll give you the name of the chart. This top one is clustered column. I could see that the chart contains certain elements like chart title, the number value, the bars to indicate each year, and the different offices listed along the bottom or the horizontal axis. And then at the bottom of this, it'll actually tell you what this chart type is, as well as when to use it. So it says a clustered column chart is used to compare values across a few categories. Use it when the order of the categories is not important. So in this case, New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Philadelphia, San Francisco, it doesn't really matter which order those are in. So this might be a good chart for us to choose. Next, you'll see other types of charts, like stacked column, clustered column, stacked area, clustered bar, line, stacked column, stacked bar, scatter, scatter, clustered bar. Now you may have noticed if you're listening to that, that some of those repeated themselves. For instance, the first one here says clustered column, and the third one also says clustered column. The reason that they're listed twice isn't because they're the same chart. If you look as I click between them, the preview is clearly different. What you have to do is take a look at the horizontal axis and see that this one here is comparing the different offices, like I stated before. The third one, however, is not comparing the different offices. Instead, it's comparing the years to each other. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. The offices are the colored bars on them. So just depending on how you want your data to be um, displayed is going to be the one that you choose. You'll notice things like all of your charts are not really available here. Um, you actually have to go up to this tab to see all of your charts. This includes things like pie charts, which we didn't even see a preview for. If I click on it, you'll see why. Pie charts are typically for comparing yearly data or an individual office, bar charts, area, and then so on and so forth. I'm going to stick with recommended charts, and I'm going to choose this one right here, clustered column. I click OK. 
you'll see that it will automatically add the chart to my page and again it takes the data directly from what I had previously selected. Since charts typically take up a lot of space on the page, I want to make sure to move it out of the way. The best way to move a chart is to go to the top left of the chart and hover over it. It should say chart area uh, in a little thumbnail or a little view right there, chart area. And all you have to do is click from that area and move it on down. And that'll get the chart out of the way. Now I'm going to show you how recommended charts works when you actually choose a different piece of data. So I'm going to deselect this chart by clicking outside, somewhere not related to the chart. And then I'm going to choose a different piece of data. In this one, I'm going to choose office and I'm going to hold down control and select a non-adjacent area, like 2018. Alright, so now that these cells are selected, it tells Excel, alright, we're interested in the office data for 2018. So it should compare the five different offices and how much money they each made. Well, let's go to the Insert tab, Charts group, and take a look at Recommended Charts this time. This time, we don't see about 15 options over here in Recommended Charts, rather we only see three. And we see that we have a clustered column, but this time it's comparing, again, the vertical axis for the money and the offices themselves. Over here, on the pie chart, we can see that this one is comparing the year 2018 for each of the offices. If I click on this and then click OK, you'll see it adds the pie chart to my page. And now I can clearly see Philadelphia, which is represented in yellow, had the most net profit for that year. So I could create a chart like this, a pie chart, or a chart like this, our clustered column, uh, based off of the information that I have selected over here. So again, Excel will customize it based, based off of your recommended selection in the recommended charts button. So that'll tell you a little bit more about which chart to choose and when to choose it. So hopefully recommended charts will be helpful for you. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. And uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.